name is Enon. Welcome back to Undertale. We left off uh, Spider Bake Sale. So go do that again. Uh, I actually tried to record like for like five minutes prior to this one, but uh, Fraps was being dumb and causing my game to lag significantly. So I came over here and bought like a spider donut. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna get whatever this is. You didn't have enough gold. Oh. Well, I can get another donut. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. And then, I guess I'll run through all this again. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Oh, not you too. There's different dialogue if you don't do that. I heard using F4 can make you have a full screen, but what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I've only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling, to say the least. And now we gotta fight a new thing. Well, not really fighting him, but... And we got five gold. I've heard you're quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster wears a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? That's helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have to do it even if their name isn't yellow. And then we go in here. And I got a phone call from Toriel saying something about picking things up. I don't know. There's just one switch. Okay. Except I don't see it. No, I don't. I don't want to fight him. And I got five gold. Okay, so. Uh, It says that there is one switch, but where is switch? Also, let me move my mouse out the way. Miss Gop crawled up close. What? M mid Gosp? Oh. Well, I can spare him, so I don't really have to do anything. Slime sounds. I'm gonna make you care. Well, I can spare him. What? Migosp doesn't have a care in the world. I guess I can spare him now. Okay, so... There's only one switch, but where is it? Oh. Oh, okay, so I have to fall down here and there's... Things. You found a faded ribbon. Okay, so... Let's see what's down here. That's a carrot. Vegetoid. Vegetoid, tackle softly. What does dinner do? You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Plants can't talk, bummy.
what did this ribbon I get do? Faded ribbon. Adds armor. Okay. Okay, I found the switch. So go back up. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. Why can't I move down? Hold on. It's doing this weird thing. It's a switch. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. If you can read this, press the blue switch. Uh, oh, it was hidden behind a pillar. this, press the red switch. Eh, too many things. Press the green switch. Oh, it's hidden behind a pillar and I don't know where it is. I guess I got lucky. The question is, where am I though? Just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. You found a toy knife. Made of plastic. Okay. Oh dear. That took longer than I thought it would. How did you get here? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try to surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. Where are we going? That's a tree. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. That's the save point. Seeing such a cute tiny house in the ruins gives you determination. And we saved. Do you smell that? Surprise. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. 
I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Uh, uh, um, here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. What is it, what it is? A room of your own. I hope you like it. Uh, is something burning? Um, I guess I'll look around then. That's neat. Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Empty photo frame. That's a box of shoes. That's a bed again. I didn't mean to do that. Stop going to bed. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. Well, let's see. Butterscotch pie all restores all HP. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling lonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. <sighs> it's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> oh, and it's just the same thing over and over. Okay. What else in here? You peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundaria of plants. Just a regular old bucket of snails. Room under renovations. That's a mirror. It's a me. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, nothing. I'm gonna look around some more. I'm guessing the other dialogue option lets you progress or something. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. Uh, two, two, twenty, ten, ten X. What, whatever. These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Let's see what's downstairs. Oh. I think you should play upstairs instead. Oh, I'm not allowed to go into the basement. But why not? It is dangerous to play here. But why though? That's it. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? 
It's called 72 uses for snails. How about it? Sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. I guess. Well, bother me if you need anything. How do you exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. Um, where are you going? That's it, I'm going back in the basement. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Uh, but I wanna go. I wanna explore. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Uh, but I want to go. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I'm um, gonna keep going. You want to leave so badly. <laughs> you are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. But, no? <sighs> you couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, man. You tried to think of something to say again, but... I'm not very good at bullet hells, so, uh... I should probably actually heal or something. There we go. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to this situation. But well, I'm gonna keep trying. Oh, okay. I know what to do now. Because I'm not killing her. That's not happening. <sighs> ah, shit. What are you doing? I'm not fighting you, that's what I'm doing. That's a band-aid. Nope, I'm not doing that. I probably shouldn't get hit again. Oh, that did the opposite of what I thought it would. Jesus Christ. I'm surprised I dodged any of that. Nope, not doing it. Nuh uh. Stop getting hit, please. I know you want to go home, but... Yep. But please go upstairs now. 
I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please go upstairs. Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. Goodbye, my child. Oh. So on a side note, this door looks looks happy. I'm gonna go through the happy door. the flower. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? I'm in this world. It's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world, and let me inherit the power to control it? I'm the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. What? No? That's too spooky. Ah. Ah. You already beat it? No. As soon as I find a save point. Or maybe I'll play for a little longer. That's spooky noises. I thought I saw something. That's a thing. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Who... who are you? What? 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 The old whoopee cushion and the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I'll be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, 
recognition, I'll finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask, to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm, maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you're not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit in the boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton? Get out of here. <laughs> Sans, come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Dumb laugh. Hey. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. This is dumb, I love it. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Why is there just a conveniently placed lamp here. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. But why, though? Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kinda down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make it day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. But you're going the opposite direction. Anyway, here's a checkpoint save thing. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Alright, and I'm gonna end it here for now. So, until next time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.